Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi, hi, hi. hi guys! My name is Joanna Marie Nicolas. In this channel, my main goal is to share with you the learnings that I have earned in my online freelancing journey as a video editor in hopes that it would also, also, in hopes that it would also help you get started on your own online freelancing journey. So if you are one of those people who are wanting to dive in into the wonderful world of online freelancing, but you don't know where to start or you don't know how things work around here yet well this channel is for you and you should definitely stay tuned for the videos that we will be putting out i really want to create videos that would help the newbies in this video we're talking about an alternative website to upwork this video might be a little bit polarizing some people will agree with me some people will not agree with me because some people really really love upwork they stand by it and they have built their whole online work portfolio career there they have upwork agencies and they have like successful job scores but there are also some people who don't really like or don't really use upwork anymore and i'm more of on that side okay but this video you'll either love it or you'll either hate me for it but i just wanted to share with you an alternative if you cannot find clients or if you're having some a difficult time with Upwork. Let's go. So first of all, let's start with why I don't like Upwork or why I don't use it anymore. I used to have an account with Upwork. When I was starting as an online freelancer, I created an account there but I didn't really like the Upwork system. Siyempre, bago pa lang yung account ko, kailangan ko makipag-compete with a lot of low-baller freelancers out there. This is just my own uh, opinion, but I didn't want to waste my time doing that, like competing for a job. Tapos, very low rates pa yung makukuha ko from that job kasi nga, I just had to lower my rates para lang makuha ko yung job na yon. But, I'm gonna be listing out a few more things that I don't really like about Upwork. Number one, is too many competition. Sobrang saturated na kasi nung Upwork marketplace. Madami ng mga nandoon na, existing na kasi Upwork goes way back. Dati Olans pa yung tawag sa kanya. Olans or Odesk? So, sobrang saturated na siya. Marami ng mga freelancers na nandoon. And marami pag dumadagdag ng mga freelancers doon every day. It would be very hard for a newbie or for like a beginner to get a break on Upwork. Number two, it's hard to get approved on Upwork. You won't be able to apply for jobs right away. You still need to have your account approved by the Upwork team. You still need to wait a few days or a few weeks. You need to submit different documents or you need to tweak some of your profile settings or account settings to get a Prove it can be a little bit intimidating lalo na kapag beginner ka pa lang. Kadalasan yung rejection na yun na kapag nag-apply ka, hindi ka agad na approves Upwork. Nakaka-discourage din yan sa mga beginning freelancers to continue with their journey kasi feeling nila parang, bakit ito pa lang, application pa lang na sa Upwork pa lang, hindi pa ako nag-apply sa job. Nag-apply pa lang sa Upwork, hindi na ako matanggap. Parang nagkakaroon agad ng doubts sa mind nila. So, mahirap magpa-approve sa Upwork. Lalo na ngayon, mas strict na yung guidelines nila. Number Number three, this is a new policy of Upwork. Dati, you can apply for as many jobs as you can, as you want. Pero since this new policy, they have limited the amounts of applications that you can send. Depende sa connects. Tawag nila doon Upwork connects or yun yung parang internal currency ng Upwork that you can use to apply for a certain job posting. And you have to pay for those connects. So you have to buy them from Upwork. Ang isang connect is 15 cents in dollars. So that's around 750 per connect. Kung mag apply ka sa 10 jobs, you will have to spend 70 pesos. And you're not sure yet if you are gonna be accepted for any of those jobs. Kasi nga, sobrang saturated na nung market and marami na ring freelancers na nag apply Which is a bit discouraging, I guess, for freelancers na nag-start pa lang and 
dinetesting pa lang nila, parang dinidip pa lang nila yung paa nila sa online freelancing world. Lalo na if they haven't adapted entrepreneurial mindset yet. Parang madidiscourage na agad sila na mag-try ng online freelancing kasi eh, kailangan ka na maglalabas ka, shell out ka agad ng pera. Parang ganun. I don't know why Upwork, why do they have to sell connects? They're already profiting off of you. From the payment of the clients, they already take a cut from you. So why do they have to sell connects? They are justifying it. They are saying that they implemented that policy para ma-eliminate yung mga hindi talaga seryoso na mag-apply sa mga jobs. Noon dati nag-apply ako ng jobs, there's no such thing as connect sa Upwork pa. It's already hard to get jobs. So ngayon, mas marami ng freelancers. Mas marami ka nang kakumpit tapos kailangan mo pang mag-shell out ng 7 pesos for every job application that you do. My concern here is yung mga freelancers na starting pa lang. Ayoko kasi parang ma-discourage sila na kasi yung other side, yun yung parang entrepreneurial mindset na puhunan mo yan. Pag nag-apply ka rin offline sa mga traditional office jobs, you have to mamuhunan ng pamasahe, mamuhunan pang paprint ng resume, biodata, ganyan. You have puhunan para makapag-apply ka sa trabaho. Pero yun nga, ang concern ko lang naman is yung mga freelancers na wala pa nun nung ganong mindset na para entrepreneurial mindset. May fear yun eh, yung mga bago pa lang nag apply sa online freelancing na kasi nga takot sila baka scam, ganyan, or hindi sila sure if they should invest money in this. That is why I'm creating this video para ma-share ko sa inyo yung alternative na website na pwede kayo mag-apply. Okay, moving on to the fourth beef beef talaga beef that i have with upwork why i don't really use them anymore and why i don't really recommend them for newbies upwork will suspend your account without really contacting you first or talking with you first why they are suspending you right now suspended yung account ko ren from upwork and they didn't really tell me why they suspended my account i'm not really using it but i was thinking how about those people who rely heavily on upwork like don't talaga nila binild yung career nila don't talaga sila kumukuha ng clients there are also people like that who get suspended hindi lang yung mga katulad ko na idle or parang inactive sa upwork yung na suspend meron din talaga they have spent years working and getting client on upwork and then all of a sudden they get suspended upwork don't really tell you why you're suspended that's like confidential and you don't really get to know the reason. They will say dun sa email na send nila sa'yo that you can appeal for it and you can send documents to prove that you are worthy to be reinstated your account. Ako kasi parang wala naman akong nalabag na Upwork rules kasi nga hindi ko siya masyado ginagamit. Nag-check ako from time to time. Hindi naman siya sobrang dormant yung account ko. And then one day nakareceive na lang ako na email na suspended yung account ko and then I tried contacting Upwork customer support but they didn't really seem to be too eager to reactivate my account. So, ako parang, kung hindi marireactivate yung account ko, okay lang din naman kasi hindi naman ako heavily reliant on Upwork. So, I just let it be that way. <laughs> na, yun na, suspended na siya. If you spent lots of time to improve your profile on Upwork. You really worked hard to have a good reputation on Upwork. I don't think that's fair na they can just suspend you like that. Again, yung concern ko dito is yung mga freelancers na nag start pa lang. If the Upwork connects is discouraging, I think account suspension is very, very discouraging for newbies out there. I'm starting to rant here, but if they will suspend a freelancer, they at least should have told them what it is that got them suspended. Like, what's the reason? What violation have I made para masuspend yung account ko? And are you willing to work this out with me para ma-resurrect ko yung account ko? I wouldn't really recommend it for beginning freelancers because I don't want you to get discouraged like that because baka hindi na kayo magtuloy-tuloy sa online freelancing. Or kung gusto nyo pa rin i-try sa Upwork, okay lang naman. If you want to experience Upwork, go ahead and try, diba? I'm not really saying that don't ever go there like close close na close bawal don bawal mga freelancers and no i'm not saying it like that i'm just saying that newbie
this. Now, I don't want you to get discouraged. That's why I'm warning you that those kind of things happen to Upwork. The last beef that I have with Upwork is the cut. The cut ranges from 5 to 20% depending kung gano'n nakalaki yung nabibil mo with the client. Pero most likely, if you're starting out, it would be 20%. If a freelancer earns $100 from a project, Upwork will take 20% of that. Ang receive na lang ni freelancer is $80. Yung $20 na yun, that's $1,000. 1,000 agad yung bawas. Why would you want be charged 20% if you can take home your money whole without any cut? I think that's enough of a rant about Upwork. Marami na akong nagalit na mga freelancers out there dahil pagra-rant ko sa Upwork. I don't mean any disrespect. This is just my opinion and how I feel about Upwork. If you want to try Upwork, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's an experience. Nothing beats experience in gaining more knowledge and wisdom of how to better navigate this online freelancing journey. I just don't want you to be discouraged. That's why I'm warning you of how Upwork works. Let's talk about the alternative website that I want to share with you. The alternative website is called onlinejobs.ph Ito another polarizing issue na naman siya because some people like onlinejobs.ph and some people don't really use online jobs ph because they think it's full of scam job postings they find it really difficult to apply for jobs there but ako naman ito naman yung preferred na platform that i use when finding client dahil dito sa mga reasons na i-state ko number one it is really easy to create an account sa onlinejobs.ph There's no approval system. You don't have to wait to get approved para makapag-apply sa mga jobs na nakapost doon. So, create ka lang ng account. It's a free account. You don't have to pay for anything. And then, when you have created your account, you can start applying for jobs. You can start sending applications and cover letters to the clients themselves. Number two is there are also lots of job postings na nasa onlinejobs.ph. Hindi ka naman may hirapan maghanap ng mga job postings dahil there are tons of it and there are lots of different categories then to choose from depending on the skill that you have. So, if you're a web developer, meron mga web dev options doon. Kung graphic designer ka, maraming options doon lalo na from e-commerce uh, owners. Mga e-commerce ads, marami din dong mga job postings that you could apply for as a virtual assistant. Transcriptionist, a writer, voiceover artist. Another reason why you should try OLJ or onlinejobs.ph is they prioritize Filipino freelancers. Kaya nga tawag sa kanya onlinejobs.ph targeted yun for Filipino freelancers. That is also why OLJ is a bit of a controversial website. There are marketing materials that OLJ produce na parang undermining the talents of the Filipino freelancers. Like, their main pitch to clients from US, sabihin nila, you should hire Filipino freelancers because you can outsource your work to them for cheap or like they're very affordable. That's that's their main selling point. Basically, Filipino freelancers are cheap, affordable to use rather than clients opting for like US-based freelancers. So, I agree. That's a bit undermining the potential of the Filipino freelancers. But if you know how to leverage yourself and how to market yourself, you can beat that however they're marketing it. Another thing that I really like about online jobs.ph is they don't take a cut from you. you don't have to pay any transaction fee so pag napag-usapan niya ni client hundred dollars per week you take home all of that i think that's a good overview para maipakita ko sa inyo yung advantage ng online jobs.ph over upwork i'll just be jumping over my computer to show you what online jobs.ph looks like just a quick walkthrough so right now we're going to onlinejobs.ph. You haven't been on this website before. Um, just wanted to share with you how it looks like. Right now, we're here at the onlinejobs.ph homepage. So, ito mga nakita nyo mga values na to. Yan yung kanilang what they are expecting to make in a month. But, depende pa rin yan sa usapan with the client. Tapos, ito yung mga most recent jobs posted. 
Tapos yan, ito yung mga businesses na they work with 51 Talk. That's for online English teachers, mostly for Chinese clients. Edo, Google, Uber, Canva, ABS. Ito yung mga clients. This uh, pricing is for employers. They have to pay to be able to hire people from onlinejobs.ph. So, I guess, dito ko lang mapapakita sa inyo yung mga categories. They used to have a different page showing all the categories. For example, if you are a video editor, you can just type here all of the results about video editing. Come up. Ito, estimate budget ni client and nakalagay negotiable. So, pwede nyo papag-usapan. You just have to click on this. So, yan yung sinasabi ko dun sa previous video if you would like to check it out. Ito yung job overview. You have to read all of this para alam mo talaga kung ano yung ina-applyan mo. So, that's just a quick sneak peek of the onlinejobs.ph website. There are lots of people asking for video editing tutorials or like basic video editing tutorials for ads and e-commerce stuff. I want it to be a little bit more structured and hindi lang bara-bara yung pagkagawa ng video editing tutorial. But that will be coming out in the next few videos. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye!